Peace, 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 everybody, man. This is uh, your boy Rashawn, live from the slip seat. You heard? Um, yeah, man, we got another day. Another day of uh, some crazy stuff going on, you heard? And um, I just been sitting back just trying to, just trying to, like, analyze and watch how everything's going down, man. What's crazy to me right now is that there's still some people that don't even understand why people are protesting right now. It's still some 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 ignorant folks are still not getting it and making excuses and focusing on the looting. And um you know, just like uh you know, first of all, before I go in, man, hey, man, like I said, it's your boy Rashawn, man, Space Invaders, man, um, make sure y'all, uh, subscribe to the page, man, hit notifications, you know what I mean, and, uh, so you can stay tuned in every time I post, I try to post once a week, uh, I really wanted to post on Sunday, the 31st, May the 31st, but I was sitting back just trying to watch some things, and, um, I said, let me wait. And we waited out until Wednesday. So look, I'm gonna jump right in. Um, peace and blessings to everybody out there, man, and everybody protesting and <clears throat> that's out fighting a good cause and being true to it and not out there doing anything mischievous. You know, they just being true to the cause and tired of what's going on and actually out there. Peace to everybody out there marching and protesting, man. Um, we just have to, you know. Um, the marching is good, and I just feel like, you know, a plan got to be put together where we can, we can, we can march, because I participated myself, and it's like, we, we, we got to march, and then come up with a, with a plan and hit D.C., man, and speak to those in Senate and that's going to listen to the issues and take them down and take heed and, and, and make it happen. You know what I'm saying? And um, Because it's crazy how they claim that it was, you know, um, the past weekend, 4,400 people got arrested during the protests. You know, protesters and looters were arrested across the country. You know, you've seen all the across the country where all the, 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 the protests was going on and uh, things. and But meanwhile, it's still three other officers still free. You know? It's three other officers that still free that was accessory to that murder of rest in peace George Floyd. People are tired. People are tired. People are tired. People are out of jobs. Uh, it's 40 million out of 40 million plus out of jobs. Um, people households are turned upside down. Um, and then you've got to turn on the TV and see, or look go to social media and you see a black guy getting his, a knee put in his neck. They were they were roughing him up in a police cruiser from the rip. And then they show another video of, it wasn't just that officer that had his foot on his, his knee on his neck, on George Floyd's neck. It was another officer, if you've seen the video, the other video, the other angle where it showed, you know, the, 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 the full right side, passenger side of that police cruiser. You've seen the other officer, he had his knee in George Floyd's back. So again, like, how could he even move? And if he's cuffed, why are you doing all that? It's three of y'all. Put him in the back of the car. If he was, if he was even going, if he was even irate to the point where he was kicking and whatever, why not? Why not? Why not put cuffs on his? Why not shackle his feet? It was three of y'all. Y'all could have did it. It was. It was three others. I should say. Y'all could have did it. It was four of y'all. Okay. But no, nah, homeboy, sitting there like he's an MMA wrestler. With his knee in his throat and his hand in his pocket. Meanwhile, the people, the citizens are on the curve telling him, hey man, let him up. 
Hey, man, he can't breathe. Hey, man, chill. Okay, man. You know, he's not listening. These police forget that they are to police the people. Or should I say law enforcement? They are, they, are, they, are, they forget that they are here to to police, to, to serve and protect. But they think they had this authority. I don't know what it is. I mean, I know what it is. Like I've said before earlier in my video last week, it goes back to the 94 crime bill and, and all of that anger, that, 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 that uh, hostility that the officers came into the neighborhoods with. You know, when that bill was crashed, it passed, you know, it was like low, no holes bar and they come in the hoods and they just did, really, it, it, was, it was like cowboys and Indians. You know what I'm saying? They felt like they could just come through, swoop down and do what the fuck they want. You know what I'm saying? And I'm talking from experience. I was out there in the streets. I seen, I seen, I took witness. I, I, I was a part of, you know, being harassed by those cops and, you know, unfortunately, no, I was never beat up or, or anything like that, but I know plenty of guys that I know and I witnessed in front, the police beat up. Yeah, I've been jacked up by the cops and all of that, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, this has been going on for, for forever, you know what I'm saying? Even, even before the 94 crime bill, but I'm just saying, when it, when it really, when the police really just came in the neighborhoods and got out of hand and felt like they had the, 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 the right to just come in and just because they assume that you're doing something, you know what I mean, that they could just rough you up and then walk it down the street. you just walk it down the street coming from the store. Innocent. You could be just walking down the street, 14 years old, 13 years old, you walk down the street, police just jump out on you. You know, and you like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? And they just jump out on you and they could come up with some side bad story and say, oh yeah, you look like uh, someone had got their uh, their bike stolen. You're like, what the fuck? I'm, I'm walking. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, you know, all of that shit, man. To go back, you know, like I said, man, I just can't believe for the, for the life of me, I cannot understand still how, you know, yeah, I know it could be some good officers and there's some good officers out there that do their job every day and just want to get back home safe, do their job, and they respectful, you know. Um, but for the life of me, I still can't understand how those officers... How do you get up every day to come to work and work for and come to a job that you know has a bad rap? You know, has a bad, especially if you're with a department that has a bad rap. It's like, how do you come to work every day like that, man? And knowing, and then knowing that these other officers are doing things and, and you could be witness and don't say anything the same way like those other three officers were when they watch homie put his fucking knee on Mr. George Floyd's neck. They sat there. My man was looking, just looking. Then the the, 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 the Asian guy was just looking. Then he turns his back into the people. It's like nonchalantly. Nobody even thought to say, hey, dude, chill. You know what I mean? Nobody thought to say, alright, that's enough. Let's get him in the car. Nobody. See, my thing is this. For law enforcement, you, you should have the ability, and I'm for sure that you've been told this, law enforcement officers have been told and taught how to defuse situations, and if they haven't, they need to be training them. These guys need to know how to defuse situations, calm the situation down, you know what I'm saying? You have to remember and have to understand that when you come into certain neighborhoods and you display certain force, when it's already a hostile environment, you're just agitating the situation. You feel me? You're just agitating the situation. And if you don't know how to come in and talk to the people, if you're not a people's person, then you must be a people person if you're going to be in law enforcement. If you are not, I feel like you should not be in law enforcement. When you are a public servant, because that's with law enforcement, you are a public servant. When you are a public servant, you should know how to serve the public. And a lot of these guys don't. They have issues. Whatever their issues, they bring their home issues to the work and they take it out on the people. The same people that, that pay taxes for their ass to have a job. But they forget that. They forget that. 
So it's amazing to me, man. How 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 could you be? How could you if you ain't gonna say nothing, how the hell do you come to work every day if you a good officer and know that it is bad officers within your batch? And you don't pull them to the side and say, look, and holler at them. So if you feel like you can't talk to them, and you feel like, hey, that's not my problem, then you part of the problem. That's him. He going to get caught up. That's her. She's a bad officer. She'll get caught up. It'll catch up with him. Yeah, but look how it'll catch up with him. With blood on their hands after they kill somebody in the street because they have a hot Hey, come on, man. Come on, man. You know, the, the, the problem today, man, the legal system, man, the jujitsu system needs a whole, uh, needs an overhaul. It needs an overhaul. And, 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 and the, the, the law enforcement officer, they feel like they're above the law, man. And that's an integral part of why and what we see today in law enforcement. They feel like they're above the law, and that's an integral part of the behavior that we are seeing. It's an integral part of it. And the system backs this behavior. By now we have cameras, so it's not word of mouth. It's not witnesses coming in. It's cameras, and then the whole world can see this thing when it's posted via social media, whatever. The whole world can see what's going on. The whole world. And then the judicial system still can sit there and watch someone get killed unjustly and, 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 and deem that permissible. And deem that law. And 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 you had officers in the past talking about they feared their life and everything. So if you come to work every day and you fan for your life that much, then you that's the wrong p profession, my dude. That's the wrong profession for you if you fan your life. You fan your life, but you walking around amongst many, you know, I know it's, I, yeah, we all know it's guns loosely on the streets. But for the most part, you're legally walking around with arm. You're armed, legally walking around, and you're still scared with a weapon. You worse than a motherfucker that's scared of his own shadow. You feel me? So it's like, hey man, what's the deal? What's, what's really the deal? If you that, if you in that much of fear, then you need to get out of that field, man. For real. You you need to get out of that field. Because you gon' cause the, the worst person is a motherfucker that's scared. And you're gonna hurt yourself or hurt somebody. And what we're seeing is them hurting, killing people and my thing is when it comes to the shooting with these officers shooting when it my, my thing with that right my thing with that right is like okay all right for whatever reason right why are we shooting and killing what 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 why are you not shooting to injure a person to get them to stop whatever you think and believe they're doing what 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 about shooting them in the arm the leg if that's what you really think <laughs> It's crazy, man. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying to understand that. You know? But this... This... This this system... This system... This country and system was built on lies, deceit, murder, and theft. This system and this, this country was built on lies, deceit, murder, and death. And I'm going I'm to I'm 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 break that down for y'all real quick. Pardon me, you know what I'm saying, live from the slip seat. I'm in the truck. I'm at work. But I'm going to break that down for y'all. So the lies come in, right? The lies come in going all the way back to how this country was founded. How the hell Christopher Columbus found a country that wasn't fucking lost? The Native Americans was here. How the hell he found something that was never lost? You know what I'm saying? What? 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 That's, is, is, is that the biggest? Is that the biggest is that the biggest heist ever? You know what I'm saying? Is that the biggest? How the hell? And this motherfucker ain't know how to read. How the hell he finds something, he just bump into this place, and then all of a sudden, you know what I mean? Then all of a sudden, you know, he, he find a 
found the country, y'all fucking give them a holiday, a fucking, you give somebody a fucking, uh, somebody a, a fucking thief a holiday, but we lock up thieves. George Floyd got locked up, accusably being accused of having a counterfeit $20 bill. Where is this $20 bill? Where is this store clerk at? Why nobody ain't talked to this store clerk? Uh, you know, and yeah, like why nobody talked to this store clerk that, 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 that supposedly this happened to? Why we ain't getting no footage on this store clerk? Why hasn't the media pulled this store clerk out to talk to him? You know what I'm saying? To get his account. Because we have yet, yeah, we have not seen him in the store when they grabbed him up. When we seen, he was outside. He was in his car, actually, at that time. So, what, what, you know, let us know what's up with that situation. But I'm saying that to say this. We, lock, we, we, we got laws for thieves and shit, right? But we give a thief that stole, that claimed they found a whole fucking country that somebody was already here, the Native Americans were here. He found the country and shit. Come on, fam. Lies. Theft. They stole the country, like I said. They stole our they stole our African ancestors, brought them here, beat them, forced them to work, forced them to work the land to which this country was built off the backs of Africans. Built off the back of our African ancestors. They forced the Native Americans up the goddamn mountain, up into the mountains, which we call today reservations. You know what I'm saying? Forced them, ran them the fuck out. Uh, what, what we call the uh, Trail of Tears. Force they ass out. Read that book about the Trail of Tears. If you don't know nothing about it. Force they ass out. Straight stole stole the land and ran they ass up out of there. Is that the biggest takeover or what? The theft. The deceit. For all the history we coming up. You know what I'm saying? You coming up. They, you know, as a kid and, and everything. They covered up the, the true history and painted this picture as if this land is equal. But how? When you rob for it. And then feeling entitled. And then you got then you got most of these then you got these white people feeling entitled after they rob for the fucking land. But they supposed to be, you know, the 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 the, the, the majority. You know what I'm saying? The majority. But you, they, they're never telling, they, they, they'll they never tell their history. They'll never speak about their history. What they do is try to glorify their history by these fucking medieval movies and medieval TV shows and motherfuckers glorify them shows. But that's how they try to, 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 to glorify their history. But they never really put their footprint. They never fucking put the truth on that. They never fucking put this microscope on that real shit. That you motherfuckers is Vikings. You know what I'm saying? And, and the murder. You, 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 you slaughtered our people since the beginning of time. You, you, I mean, this shit ain't new. And our, and our people, and people, our people, and as you see now in these marches, everybody is tired, man. Everybody is tired, man. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying all white pe all whites are racist and everything because what's going on now and what you're saying, and I know it's some fascist groups and some groups out in there that you got protesters going on and then you got the other people coming in for their own gain. Even our people doing dumb shit and y'all need to stop doing the march. Don't bring your ass out at the marches if you ain't going to be there for the cause and doing dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? Fucking it up for everybody else who's really there. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get the message out, trying to get their uh, 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 point across. And you got people across the world now marching. Italy, different place. You got, they marching. They feeling the pain. People are tired of turning on the TV or seeing social media, seeing this shit happen. And they going through their own issues. And then they got to see this. And people are dealing with different anxieties. And got to see that. And feeling like, man, you people don't care. The government don't care. Which, like I said, there's a book that I'm reading called The Fifth Risk. And um, 
I'm almost through with that book, and I'm and I'm and it's, and it's talking about real time what's going on in the government right now with Donald Trump and everything, and how that whole how his whole office is set up, everything. So I just dropped that real quick. So I'm gonna let y'all know when it comes to that point about the government right now as we speak. You know what's really been what's the real deal and everything that you might have been saying that this president is stupid and then you're about you're right, you're right. But this book right here, if you get your hands on the book, The Fifth Risk. You know what I'm saying? Amazon has it. If you get your hands on the fifth wrist, and the book only six dollars and some change. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you get your hands on that book, man. Read that book. You're gonna get a you're gonna get a clear understanding of government as well. Like it, it'll get it, it's a good unbeknownst to the to the to the writers and stuff, the authors. It, it's a it's a good little tutorial too about the, how the government is really, you know what I'm saying, set up in all the different departments, if you don't know. You know what I'm saying? Because there's some things that I learned that I didn't know. You know what I'm saying? When it came to the different departments. You know what I mean? And I was ignorant to some of the some of the things, some of the uh, 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 branches of the government. But I've been watching back to the back to this marches and everything. I've been watching the peaceful marches, man. The entire weekend, the entire weekend, the last weekend of uh, 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 May. I've been watching. You know what I mean? The marches. And I'm seeing how law enforcement really instigating and pushing protesters. You got protesters with their hands up and they're not doing nothing. You see the police because they're so worried about the people coming into the downtown areas tearing up shit that they're not letting the people really mar protest and march in peace. It's like they, they're, 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 they're instigating the shit. And, and then, so what you doing that, and people are already aggravated and frustrated, and you shooting rubber bullets, and then you got some dumbass other groups that starting some shit, so then everybody gets riled up. It just calls for a mess. When, again, I go back and I say the police the, and law enforcement should know how to defuse situations. They should know how to keep the peace first. But it's not that. They come with the action. They ready for the. They ready for action, all the time, on the people that employ them. They get sworn in to do a job, and a lot of them aren't doing it right. I'm sorry, they're not. So much so that they want to bring the national guard in to try to help because they try to try to help out the situations, but it, it, it don't help. I pose this question though to those who voted for Trump. Is this the goofy shit y'all wanted? You got the, you got what you wanted. Are you entertained now? Did you feel still feel like he doing his job? He still he stood in front of a fucking church that was boarded up. He stood in front of a church with a Bible. But before that he stood on a panel and said he he wants to, he wants to protect the peaceful protesters, but he will send, but pretty much talking martial law, talking about he will activate the fucking military to come do the job if the governors and mayors can't handle their job and do it right. So what are you actually saying, my man? There's no need to even look to the president for any words of encouragement or positive. Dude isn't a leader. Dude is incompetent, an uh, incompetent instigator. Straight up, he don't he don't know no other way, man. He he don't know. He ain't a leader, bro. He made his money off of his name. You know what I'm saying? And off of his uh, 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 white privilege. He made his money off his name, so he never been a leader. He just got money from banks and knew how to put it here and here and have people to do the job for him. He ain't never got he, ain't, he don't know what it is to get it from the mud. He ain't a people person. <laughs> fuck you gonna run the how the fuck you gonna run the White House? But you'll you'll see if you read that book, The Fifth Risk, you'll see what's going on right now. You'll understand. And then you holler back at me and then let me know what you think. But some like the open minded folks, let me know what you think. You know what I mean? Because I'm gonna give y'all my breakdown when I'm through with it in the next week or so. Oh yeah, and all the uh, uh, everybody who talked down on Kaepernick and all of that when he was kneeling. Now look, he kneeled and got kicked out of the league. Even though I heard he backed down, he you know the Jets signed him or whatever. But let's let's think about this, man. 
he got kicked out the league for kneeling, right? Nobody was really trying to rock with him, right? Then all of a sudden, we get Jay-Z, we get all these other folks trying to get involved, and now things are supposed to change. But, what, what, what? but let's think about this. I rambled a little bit right there. Let's think about this. Cabinet got kicked out for kneeling, right? They, they kind of like shunned him, right, for that. He got kicked out the league, right? The NFL kept rolling on. But now look at it. There's nothing going on because of the coronavirus, so nobody's playing, and somebody else, and you got more bodies dropping. Now nobody's playing. Know what I'm saying? What y'all got to say now is the more bodies been dropped since Kaepernick had took that knee, and he was taking the knee for a good cause, but they tried to, they tried to, they tried to play him, and every, and then you had the black athletes too trying to play him and trying to tell, trying to shush him. <laughs> But it's funny now how things change, right? How, the, how, how things reverse. Now, nobody's playing because you had the coronavirus that the president failed to let the Department of Energy, you know what I mean, do their job and have the proper people in place so they could have warned us and got everything prepared. And then when he did get it from the World Health Organization, he still tried to dumb it down and play them. And then play it like, oh, it's all a lie. It's not real. Till his more bodies start dropping. Now nobody, now no entertainer, no athlete, nobody can do shit. Everybody's money is fucked up. But I'm just saying. Hey man, that's it, man. I'm with, I'm, I'm I'm stepping down off my soapbox. I ain't got time to go back and forth and like drop drop all names and coming at so many people. When I bring everything to y'all, man, the Space Invaders live from the slip seat. You know what I mean? And I say slip seat because I'm a local driver, man. So I'm all, you know, I just pull over on the side of the road, man, when I get my time and I shoot y'all these videos. For the past couple weeks, I ain't been able to do it because I've been busy out here. But um, today I had that time that I was, you know, really able to, to do it today. So, man, I thank y'all for tuning in, man. And y'all make sure y'all share this video. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe to the page. Y'all make sure y'all hit that notification bell. So every time I drop a video, y'all be aware of it and you'll know, man. But it's your boy, I'm Rashawn. Live from the Slip Seat. You can catch me on uh, Facebook, Rashawn Looker, L R A S H O N E L O O K E R. You can catch me on Instagram, same, R A S H O N E L O O K A. Catch me on Instagram, man. Hit me up, drop a comment, let me know what y'all thinking, man. Um, and I'm going to keep dropping these videos, man. I'm going to keep dropping these videos, man. And um, it's just my thoughts. And everybody that's out there protesting for the right cause, man, y'all stay safe. And y'all keep and y'all keep it up, man. And, um, and, 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 and I'm going to keep supporting. And, um, you know, and everybody, make sure y'all go to change.org. You can see different, you know, people trying to get... You know, um, petitions signed up there. So if you can't even be at no marches or anything, man, and you see different petitions, sign up for them. Change.org. And go on up there, man, and uh, look at all the different, you know, petitions for things that don't even hit the media. It, uh, it, issues that don't that may not even hit the media, but you can sign those petitions. And you could donate, or you have the option to donate, or you can share it on your social media platforms. You know what I'm saying? So others can be aware and sign the petitions as well you know um they was trying to get the petition signed for george floyd um for that cop to get his uh charges moved up to first degree to a first degree charge so we we almost did with that you know what i'm saying i see but getting 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 the numbers that they want i think they wanted a million five hundred people signing on to that petition but yo i thank y'all man i'm out y'all stay safe and all y'all out there that's 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 looting and y'all doing this for the wrong reason man y'all need to chill man y'all need to chill man and fall back fall back yo that's your boy i'm out